Ah, Mrs. Brown, come in. You must be Mr. Groover. And you must be the young gentleman whose hat sounds so fascinating. Mm. Welcome. You're just in time for elevenses. Morning, it arrives at 11 o'clock, bringing salvation. <laughs> Just like a train that I took many years ago. Really? Oh, yes, you see. There was a lot of trouble in my country. So my parents sent me all the way across Europe. When I was not much older than you are now. Was it hard to find a home? I had a great aunt who took me in. I soon learned a home is more than a roof over your head. My body had traveled very fast, but my heart, she took a little longer to arrive. Hmm. But now I should like to take a look at your hat. Oh, thank you. Unusual color. It is hard to say how much of that is original and how much marmalade. My uncle always kept a marmalade sandwich in his hat, in case of emergency. <laughs> You're pulling my legs off. What a splendid idea. Whoa. Now, if you look carefully, you can see your hat has been hand-stitched, which suggests it was one of a kind. Yes. Hello there. Wait a minute. Very subtle. Oh, Paddington! The gentleman dropped his wallet! Where is he? Hide out! Ah, stop! Come back! Oh, really? I just did what any bear would do. I can't thank you enough. That scoundrel has been pocket picketing people around here for weeks. She was extraordinary. And it gave me a chance to look at his hat. You see, this is no ordinary hat. No? No. These markings mean that it was made for a member of the Geographer's Guild. What's that? It is a very old explorer's club. Oh. Go and see them in the morning, and if luck has been smiling on your face, they should be able to tell you who they made it for. Ah, oh, Mr. Brown, come in. I just had a visit from Madame Kosleva, who runs the fair. Oh, yes. They were having a clear out and found all these old crates stuffed full with memorabilia they thought had been lost forever. Oh. She asked me if I would sell it for them while they're in town, and it struck me there might be something in here for your auntie's birthday. Well, good idea. <gasps> ah, look at this. It's very nice, Mr. Gruber, but... I know, I know. It has to be perfect. Well, since Uncle Pastuzo died, I'm the only relative she's got left. And it isn't every day a bear turns a hundred. <laughs> Quite so. Ah! How about these rolling shoes? Please, Mr. Gruber, be serious. Perhaps your auntie's rolling days are behind her. <laughs> I think you might be right. Oh, what's this? <sighs> ah, that must be the popping book. Very interesting. Really? You see, Madame Kosleva's great-grandmother, who started the fair, was also a brilliant artist. And every time they visited a new city, she made a popping book to remember it by. Oh. And this is London. Oh, Mr. Gruber, it's wonderful. Aunt Lucy always dreamed of coming to London and never had the chance. But if she saw this, it would be like she were finally here. Aunt Lucy! Aunt Lucy! Paddington! Oh. Come with me, Aunt Lucy. Oh, yes, please. I want to see everything. Well, what do you think? It's wonderful. 
All aboard. One and a half bears, please. Mind your step, madam. Oh, what a polite young man. What a polite young pigeon. Oh, Paddington. You've made an old bear so very happy. This is perfect. Oh. Uh huh? We have a snag. Do we? You see, this popping book is the only one of its kind, and they want rather a lot of money for it. Oh, well, Mrs. Bird found this coin in my ear at breakfast. Perhaps there's more. Oh, it would take more than an earful, Mr. Brown. I'm afraid you would need a thousand of those coins. Oh. Let's take another look at the monkey. I think he's super duper. Oh. I can fix that. That's very kind, Mr. Gruber, but Aunt Lucy did so much for me when I was a cub, and this could be my way of saying thank you. I'm going to get a job and buy that book. Court will rise. Deep breath, Paddington. Remember what Mr. Brown said. You're young, you've done nothing wrong, you'll be fine. So long as you get a fair-minded judge. Order. Or order. Oh, dear. You'll now hear the case of the Crown versus Pennington... Uh, Brown. Oh, yes, he loved the book. His heart was set on top of it. So you discussed how expensive it was? Yes, but he was earning the money. I refuse to believe that young Mr Brown would ever burglarise my shop. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Poor prints were found here, here, and here, and a substance later identified as marmalade was found here. And is this the same marmalade? Yes, it is. Phoenix Buchanan, you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? May my entrails be plucked forth and wound about my neck, should I deceive. I do. Prison is no laughing matter, and I should know. I spent three years in Les Miserables. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Buchanan, you live on the same street as the defendant. I do. And you were an eyewitness to the events that night. Indeed, I was. I was up late when I became aware of a hullabaloo in the street below. I went to my awards room, which is a large room overlooking the newspaper kiosk, and I saw young Paddington riding a rather disreputable-looking hound. Mary Brown drew this based on the bear's description of the man he claims he was chasing. <laughs> Did you see him on the street that night? Oh, a handsome devil, isn't he? Hmm? Dazzling eyes. Yes, but did you see him? Your answer will tell us whether the bear is guilty. Did you see this man? Alas, I did not. <gasps> but perhaps he'd already vanished. I beg you, have mercy on him. He is but a cub. Somebody's got to recognize him sooner or later. Hmm. You're right, Mr. Gruber. There's something about this whole business that has been tickling my brain box. What is it? On the night of the robbery, when young Mr. Brown called out, the thief took to his heels and ran down the stairs. Came straight through the shop and out the front door, setting off the alarm. Ah, but that's the thing. He didn't go straight to the shop. No? He came all the way over here to get the popping book. Why not some jewellery or a vase? <laughs> They're much closer, far more valuable. He can't know much about antiques. Mm. Unless he knows something about that book that we don't. <laughs> <laughs>